model, you know, mutations at the end of the day, they're not, you know, construction, they're, they're destructure. But if we actually look at, say, a real time example, say, let's use uh, Lenski's long term bacterial experiment, if you're um, familiar with that. So we know that, a, you know, a very uh, trivial adaptation happened. Because what it was, was it was optimal growth on, on a given medium, right? But Lenski's bacteria, what they actually did was they shrank in genome size. So in other words, the functional genome, it actually decreased. So it became evident with, with this experiment, and, and they're still observing it, that the more rapid growth in these bacteria, it was actually very much and significantly accomplished through genetic degeneration. So it's actually a fact too that many useful genes say not essential in that artificial environment of, of Lenski's experiment, they're actually lost, which means at the end of the day, not only are they lazy and, and they're handicapped in that environment, when transferred to a natural environment, those highly degenerated bacteria, they would certainly be dead on arrival. So right there is, you know, real time evidence of that genetic degeneration which once again, I'm just saying is consistent with the biblical model. And I don't understand how natural selection is gonna be able to stop this degradation problem. Like, do you have a solution to it? Um, and, and how do you feel about the, Len, the, the Lenski uh, example? Are you familiar with Len, Lenski's experiment? Go ahead. Yeah, I've heard about it. It's, it's been a while since I've even looked into it, but from what I understand, as far as the Lenski experiment goes, uh the bacteria broke off into another species and they were like what like a couple generations of evolution and so you can see over a large time over a large period of time like what like 30 years of evolution Linsky he, he for for younger creationists i would say he dem he demonstrated macro evolution he demonstrated evolution on, on a large scale um so that, that that's pretty much how i understand it well, at the end of the day if because this aerobic citrate digestion by bacteria that was the big one that was seen if it involves say the loss of control of, of the normal anaerobic citrate digestion and it's a you know sure it's an adaptation but it's a very much you know degenerative adaptive change you know that's not gonna uh you know take your fish to fishermen because if we're seeing you know losses of information we're seeing genetic degeneration you know that's no help to large-scale evolution because obviously we agreed that you know the word evolution means a change in allele frequency in populations over generations but if these changes are degenerative that's more consistent with a young earth creation model because obviously there's a shelf life on these genomes if we're accumulating these these mutations right i mean do you understand that a, that a, a neutral mutation is neither uh is not selected for or against 